I'm minty, and there is some more RuneScape stuff to go over today. I don't know if I'll be doing this daily, but they keep making new content, and it's pretty big content. Uh, we got some new things going on with Fasani's Nightmare. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but we're going to go with that. Uh, they're making it, I guess, harder with new mechanics and rewards, and something that caught my eye a little more than that is the new range meta equipment rebalance change. The blowpipe looks like it's being nerfed, and we also are seeing some new crystal armor, or not new, but upgrades to that and the bow coming to the game. And I'm going to go into it blind. I'm not even sure what I'm looking at right now, but yeah, if you guys are liking these uploads, and if you want to see them consistently, drop a like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, help a brother out. I think uh, we should start with some memes. <laughs> uh, there's quite a bit here. So as soon as I woke up, check the Reddit. I'm not crying, you're crying. It's time to go. Was I a good ranged weapon? No. <laughs> you were the best. So I knew the RuneScape Reddit would have tons of jokes about this because the blowpipe is such an iconic weapon. Uh, but there's even more. Pre-nerf, post-nerf. Oh man, it must be cold. Blowpipe stands waking up and reading this game's update this morning. Yeah. And then, of course, some art. I guess we can go back to the bananas, man. This looks really sick. The wizard banana hat is finally in-game, and it's super cute. Is it actually in-game? Can I buy that? I might actually go ahead and buy one of those. They look pretty sweet. I like that a lot. So I want to kind of show you guys the power of the bow before we get into the video, just in case you don't know. I was linked this clip. I'm sure there's a lot of clips going on right now. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and shout out top OSR's moments just because I'm using the clip. I don't really watch them a ton, but I'm only going to show a couple seconds. So this guy's using the new bow and the armor against somebody who's pretty stacked out in gear. And <laughs> Wait, let's, let's back up a little bit here. So this, is just, this is the new update. So we, see, we do see one zero, and then that's followed by a 35, which is followed by a 42, and that's pretty fast and accurate. I don't, I don't, is this made for PvP or PvM? I'm excited to get into that. Of course, top OSR's moments, I kind of yoinked the, the five seconds there. Just want to show you guys how powerful that actually is, man. That's, that's crazy, right? That's crazy how hard that hit. Uh, okay, so we'll start with Fasani's Nightmare, the new blog that just came out. They had a couple issues here. I'm just going into it blind. I might be... I should, probably shouldn't do that because <laughs> I'm such a horrible PVMer here. But we've received reports that Corporal Beast is currently summoning multiple dark energy cores. Those are little healers. Uh, it's fixed. We've also received players spawning into empty rooms while facing the nightmare boss that has also been fixed, which is cool. And we've received reports of the rift that appears during the Fasani's Nightmare encountered are stacking on top of each other. These, these are all funny bugs, man. Kind of reminds me of Skyrim. And a hot, hot fix has been deployed. We should stop them from spawning so that's nice so it apparently the nightmare is back and stronger than ever a new challenge will test only the bravest of warriors face off against the toughest version of the boss all by yourself now, i know people are were already soloing it and it was a pretty long solo i think like 15 minutes per kill if i'm not mistaken there i have a couple friends who do that uh, i think people are have been uh, speed running it too to get that lower so i wonder if that's going to become even faster now with the new uh boss if it if it is new uh so if you think you're hard enough journey past the slumbering creature to find sister Sanga in the pool of nightmares Sanga, i'm hoping i'm pronouncing that right like jenga will give you some insight into what's happening in the area of the sanctuary upon drinking from the pool you'll be, be able to fight the boss hardcore iron man players beware this will be an unsafe death so <laughs> feels good man we need more unsafe deaths i think everything should be an, un an unsafe death for hardcore iron man but that's just me the harder the better in every way possible i think it's just way better in general um if you sit back and let someone else take the pain while you gloat from the sidelines get news right by the pool you'll be able to spectate watching other players eat it from the safety how hard is this gonna be man how so apparently you can watch people die it must be very hard. The rewards, you can get the parasitic egg, which is pretty gross, similar to metamorphic dust, which can be used on a little nightmare to transform into a parasite version of itself. Gross, but that's actually really, really cool. Uh, I like that a lot. They could do this to every pet, and I would probably be pretty happy with that, but I'm guessing it makes sense here. Doesn't really go too much into that. You might have to watch someone actually uh, on YouTube 
fight that thing because we don't get a ton of information here. Uh, the slep Sleppy, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Tablet lets you upgrade Draken's medallion so you can teleport inside the Sisterhood Sanctuary. The quant quantity of regular drops has been increased to match the difficulty, so there is some loot increase, and some less desirable drops have been replaced. That's always good, and then unique drops have been updated to match the length and the difficulty of the boss. So overall, got harder. It got more rewarding. Let's hope to see that in the wilderness because I don't do this boss at all. But that pet does look pretty cool. So let's talk about the rebalancing of range meta right now. The bow of Fahrenheinen? Fer 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 Fahrenheinen. Fahrenheit. The bow of Fahrenheit. I don't know, dude. The newest bow from the Elven region requires 75 range, 70 agility to wield. Pretty much a remake of the crystal bow, I'd imagine. I might not even be right on that. This could be a whole different bow. Apparently here, here are its stats and its range strength and its attack speed. So it goes up in attack speed using rapid attack, but that's like most weapons there. It consumes one charge per attack. It can be charged. So pretty much just like the crystal bow or the blade of Sal Salador or the salad blade for those who can't pronounce these just like me. Enhanced crystal weapon seed. To incorporate this new fancy bow, we've elected to change the way the, that receiving the Blade of Seldor works. Instead of the blade itself, you'll now be able to obtain a seed from either versions of the Gauntlet, and the drop rate is 1 in 2,000. So more seed drops from the Gauntlet. <laughs> okay. All right. With this seed, players can head to the little crystal bowl. I, I learned that during uh, the league's last, last leagues there, man. I learned all about Elf City. So I actually know this. Makes me feel good. Um, so apparently with the seed, players can head to the crystal singing bowl and turn it into the blade or the new bow. So it's not a crystal bow. It's literally on par with the melee sword. Okay, I'm glad I cleared that up. So it's literally the range form of the, the melee. I wonder if they're going to come out with like a mage version too. Like you can get like a staff. I almost like guarantee that could happen if they're going down this rate. And for an additional 100 crystal shards... You can get the bow. This can be done with 82 crafting, 82 smithing, and it gives you 5,000 XP. <sighs> Damn. That's a lot of shards, too, to get that bow. I wonder what it turns into when you get killed with it. Maybe just cash. So here's its stats. Uh, actually, Chris, this is the armor stats here. The following changes have been made to the crystal armor pieces. Green equals buff. Red equals nerf. So I just see a lot of green except for a magic defense there. And then <laughs> what everyone's been waiting for, the, the toxic blowpipe. So this, this bow is apparently meant to be another step in the tier of range. So you can go from like mage bow, crossbow, blowpipe now to this bow, and then you got the twisted bow. I think that's what they're making. They're making leveling steps here. Uh, so what they do, the blowpipe, the, the toxic blowpipe accuracy has been reduced by 30%. <laughs> The strength has been reduced by 20. I don't know if you're happy or glad about that. I I don't even use the blowpipe, so I don't really... I'm not, I'm not huge into this. I just know it's a huge weapon, especially for bots in the wilderness. Uh, the range of the darts used by the blowpipe has changed as well. So it looks like Dragon's still pretty strong. I'm not sure what the original ones are there, but that dude, 30% accuracy, 20%, 20 strength. <laughs> oh, that's insane. But I guess they're making room for what they call amethyst darts. Nah, they're not going to be that strong. It only says 50 range to equip. They have been poisoned, and you uh, you can poison them. You you can remove poison, but oh, they're automatically poisoned when you make them. What the hell? That's kind of cool. You can remove the poison using a cleaning cloth. Oh no, it's not poison when you make them. I'm dumb. It's just saying you can't remove it. I just, dude, ah, this dyslexic, this, this so dumb. The darts have an accuracy of plus zero and a strength of plus 28. Okay, so they'd be just better than Rune for these Amethyst darts coming in the game. Also, Shazian armor has uh, apparently some nerfs. You can see some nerfs on the defense there. The armadil crossbow, special attack has been increased from 40 to 50%. So they're making the ACB a bit stronger, which is kind of nice because the dragon crossbow is so cheap now. They're about 800k from all those bots and rune dragons. So they're making ACB stronger. That's nice. The, ba the, the base chance, the base chance, I'm not saying that wrong. The base chance for the bolt activation has been doubled on the spec attack and may differ from bolt to bolt. The bonus from candor and diaries does not increase that. So your activation on bolt procs is doubled on special attack. 
That's kind of cool. So ACB is maybe going up right now. I'm, I haven't checked the Grand Exchange, but I, I'd assume, right? Your Crystal Bow Strength has been increased plus 78. Holy moly. Dragon Hunter Crossbow's strength has been reduced. So the Dragon Crossbow, the Dragon Hunter Crossbow, is now weaker uh, just by 5% from 30 to 25. Dude, that's a ton of changes, man. They, like, they went and did everything in range. Odium Ward's, even the Odium Ward's range strength has been increased by 4. Dragon Fire Ward, plus 8. Twisted Buckler, plus 10. HP from Healers at Zuck and the Rangers within the Inferno has been reduced by 5. So a bit of a nerf on uh, Zuck. It makes it a little easier there, but... Yo, they did so much to range. This bow's insane. The Blowpipe is less accurate now. The Crystal Bow's stronger. Dragon Hunter Crossbow is weaker. ACB has a double proc rate for specs and more accuracy. What? Dude, this is huge. There's a bunch of changes, man. <laughs> what the? What is this? So this is polls. I don't want to go over polls, but... <laughs> Who wants that, man? What is this, Star Wars? Oh, that's pretty cool, though. All right, we're not going to go on the polls. I just want to go over the new range updates. That's pretty huge. Fosandi's Nightmare does look nice too, but I'm not a PVMer. But uh, now I kind of wish that I had done the quest so I can get that uh, that bow, man. That bow looks insane. I uh, I'm gonna be terrified to run into that in the wild now. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this update with the new range meta coming out, blowpipe nerf, and Fasani Fasani's Nightmare. Thanks for watching the video, and I will see you in the next episode.